Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making some... We're going to have some scripting fun. Um, uh, there's a couple things before we get started. The first thing we're going to, I should say is we're going to be do, writing a music tagging script today in Bash. And that being said, I want to say two things. One, I am not a Bash expert. I don't know everything about Bash, so there's chances are... We're going to be going through this, and there's going to be some things that are, aren't going to work, so I might have to do some research right here on live on the video. That's the way scripting works for most people, unless you're like a super duper expert. I am not one of those people. Um, second thing, like with all tutorials on this channel, take the term tutorial with a grain of salt. Um, if you learn something, that's great. I hope you do. If you learn what not to do, which is more likely, um, also good. That's Then I've served my purpose on earth and you will have uh you know learned from my mistakes or possibly learned something you know you know how to do something and that's good mm. I have to keep hydrated anyways basically the idea for the script today uh, let's go ahead and um, clear some stuff here and get back get to the main screen so that you can actually see what I'm doing. So basically the idea is what I want to do is I want to be able to ha ask the user, the terminal user, uh, for the name, artist, album, and so on, and then have a program, which is called ID3, um, have that program go through and assign that information that the user entered into the appropriate places into a, in, in, a, in a string and assign those tags to a particular file. So, um, whether or not this works or not, we're going to find out. Um, so, I've already created the file. So, basically, to do that, I just did touch music. And then I then, then the second thing I did was chmod and music. Okay? I'm not going to do those again because I've already done that. Um, mainly because this is my second time recording this video because I forgot to change the output in OBS to the screen I was still recording the the beginning screen there. Um, nobody ever said I was smart. <laughs> anyway, so we just, if we're gonna V into music here, oops. And the only thing I have so far is the shebang. Any script that you start, start at least that's a shell script I should say, starts with a shebang, which is just you know, cash tag exclamation point slash bin slash sh. You can also do slash zsh slash bash. Because those are POSIX compliant shells, you should be able to use the same syntax in all three of those. Now, it's a little bit different if you're using a shell like fish. The syntax there is different. You can't use the equal signs. You can't use um, certain symbols because fish doesn't recognize those because it's not POSIX compliant. And that's the reason why. We don't use fish. <laughs> so, a little bit of rant over there. What we're going to do now is do the beginning input. So, basically what we want to do is echo and then quotation marks. What is the title of the song? Okay, and then we want to do... Um, We want to do this read um, single quotation marks. Oops, oh, we got a couple flags here. Dash E, dash P, single quotation marks. And I'm going to actually try something. I want to do title and artist. Okay, I want to see if this will, this will work. It may not work. Um, and if it doesn't work, I'm not quite sure why. I got to remember, I'm, I'm not an expert at this. So we're just going to. We're going to try. If it doesn't work, we'll have to do them separately. So, um, title, artist, okay, so, um, hmm. oh, you want to know what? I think I know what this is. Okay, so, we do do a, a, a semicolon here, leave a space, and this is the dollar sign zero dollar sign one okay so it's gonna gonna store whatever output the user enters the first word will be a variable zero the second one will be variable dollar sign 
and just to see if this works before we continue on, we don't want to go, we just want to echo zero and dollar sign one. We'll, we will save that and make this a little bit bigger. And we will do dot slash music. Um, is not available. Line five is not, does not work. Okay, so the syntax there's obviously wrong. Okay, I wonder why. Let's wonder why that won't work. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll try this. And we're we're blatantly copying some somebody's stuff here. Let's see if this works. So basically, what this says: if dollar sign one contains something, then echo this. So we're gonna change inside. Oops change inside quotation marks and we're just going to do do in dollar sign one okay otherwise positional we'll just leave that one and we'll comment this out for now okay try it again okay okay so it did do this, but line five is still wrong. It's this one here that it's bother. It is dot slash read. Oh, I know exactly what's wrong. I know it's exactly what's wrong. Okay, get that close a little bit. And what we're gonna do here is remove the dash e. Uh, flag and see if that's right. I think because that dash e flag is to have file name tag autocomplete, and because this isn't a tag, isn't a um, path or something, I think this should work. No, nope, still won't work. So maybe you want to let's delete p2. Still no. Obviously doing something wrong. <laughs> Obviously doing something wrong. Um, okay. Close this up. And. Okay, so. Let me look at my example again. Let's, uh. <laughs> Okay, so I should say that I'm not writing this from an example of somebody else's script. I'm looking actually at one of my other scripts that I, where I learned how to do some of this stuff, um, which of course, um, okay. Oh, I'm I'm dumb. These don't need dollar signs. I'm going to go ahead and put dash E and dash P here again. Um, we'll see if this works. It probably is still not going to work, but we're going to try it. This is how it goes. Still doesn't work. Zero is not a valid identifier. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to have to do it se separately then until I learn how to do positional arguments, which I apparently still don't know how to do, which is just the way of things. Why aren't my key bindings working? That's... Okay. You know what? Fine. <laughs> my, my key bindings stopped working. That's really weird. Make sure I'm not in a mode. Anyways, we'll just delete this. And do...
Ah, nothing's working. I can't type. All right, so we're just going to call this title. Okay? And we delete these. Seriously, nothing's working. Okay. And then to make sure this works, echo dollar sign title. Okay. I've been using DWM for like the last, I don't know, week, and I've forgotten all my key bindings in i3. <laughs> it's been annoying me all day long. Try this again. Okay. Breaking Benjamin. That works. <laughs> of course it works, because that's, you'd expect it to work. Okay, good. Okay. We're just going to have to do this the hard way. So, let's see. Delete this line. Okay, good. Now we're just going to do this several times to define our variable. So we'll echo what is the name of the artist. Read, oops, read dash e dash p artist. Oops, these need to be single quotes. Artist, okay. And echo, what is the, the name of the album? Read-E-P, album, album, echo, what is the year of publication? Read-E-P, year, year, okay, echo, what is the genre, oops, no, we're going to leave the genre, because genre is different, because in ID3, which is the program we're going to be using, um, in genre, they have to go through and use specific numbers, which are looked up in some database somewhere, um, I'm going to leave that blank for just now, I'm not sure if I'll add that or not, we'll see. Um, uh, so we did title, artist, album, public year, and do you have a comment? You have a comment. And we'll do read dash e dash dash p comment. I can't type. I really can't type today. This is a bad time to learn that you can't type. Okay. So that's all really simple. I would love to be able to learn how to combine these. And uh, the little bit of research I did before this evidently was enough. Um, many program. So I'm, re I'm reading a uh, Linux linuxcommand.org, which is basically like the Bible of bash scripting. But for, okay. Just bear with me for a minute. I'm looking. And I want to see if we can combine those. Unfortunately, this is the tutorial's not doing exactly what I want to do, want us. Okay, so this person does echo a, a phrase, loop until all parameters are used up. Echo one do echo parameter one equals one. You now have uh, shift, shift. Fascinating. Okay. All right. Well, you want We're gonna go try that. Just I told you, you'd, you'd we'd be learning alongside each other. Um, so I'm gonna save this because we know this will work. We know this will work, but it's messy. So we're gonna quit and we're gonna touch a uh, M2. We're just gonna call this M2. And we're gonna chmod m2 and fim m2. Okay, and we're gonna do a shebang. So in insert mode pound sign exclamation point slash bin slash bash. Just sh it is, it doesn't matter. Okay, and then according to this handy dandy website I have, this is what we need to do. Um, 
something like this. Oops. Undo. Oops. <laughs> I, can, I just can't do anything. All right, that, this isn't going to work either because this is this is going. Because I don't really understand. I guess. Basically, what this does is it assigns this variable here back down here, but then allows it to shift. All right, well, that's not going to work for us. I'm going to have to keep doing some... I'm going to have to keep doing some research on positional arguments. So this is just going to be V1 of this script. So we'll be back into music. Oops. Okay. So basically... What we want to do now is ensure that all these things work. It should work. Echo, dollar sign, title, dollar sign, artist, dollar sign, album, dollar sign, year, and dollar sign, comment. Okay. We'll make sure this is bigger. And what is the name of the song? Breath by Breaking Benjamin. Album is um, pulling this out. I'm pretty sure it's uh, saturate, but that's not right. It doesn't matter. And that came out in like 2003 or some crazy amount of time ago. And no. And that echoed everything out the way it should have. Good. Good. Very good. Now it's just a matter of plugging that into an ID3 command. So we will delete this line here because we don't need it. Okay. What we need to do now is do this. Uh, insert ID3. Dash T is going to be uh, quotation marks dollar sign title. Okay. Uh, dash a which is for artist is dollar sign artist okay and uh, let's see dash uh, l is dollar sign album why it's dash l i'm not sure probably because dash a was already taken dash and oops we didn't do the track we gotta do a track Echo, what is the track number? Okay, read dash E dash P, track number, track. Okay, dash N is going to be dollar sign track. I'm, for those people who are bash experts, you'll know that uh, this is obviously the the hardest way of doing this because there is a way to combine these things. I just still haven't figured it out as you've you know repeatedly seen in the last five minutes. Okay, so that was dash n dash y is year dollar sign year. Okay, and comment is dash c dollar sign comment. Okay, so that should work there. Now, one thing we did forget up here, we need the path of the uh, the song we want to do. So we would do echo, what is the path of the song? Um, now, there's a couple ways I could do this. The way I'm going to do it is just ask for the person to type in the path, but we could also just do um uh so because pwd is um print working directory so it, the, but that would only work if the person was in the directory of where the song was at um and i don't want to limit that to this so what i'm just going to do is do read dash e oops dash P path 
can do, but let's call this path. And we need to add that to the end of this. So dollar sign path. Okay. So what we're going to have to do next is find this, go here and save this and make this smaller. You know, this is be way easier if I just do do tabs. I, f I keep forgetting that I don't have uh, that I have tabs again. Uh, you don't have tabs in DWM without doing some crazy magic voodoo nonsense. So um, <laughs> I forgot that I had tabs. I have tabs. It's great. Anyway, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go find some music over here. I gotta wait for my external hard drive to spin up like a caveman. Give me a second. I'm gonna take a drink. Mm -hmm. All right. Really, honestly, my hard drive should have already been spun up because I just did this before I started video recording. But what are you gonna do? All right, we're there. All right. So if we do this again, what is the path of the song? So in this case, it's dash run media, Doctor M Dub, you uh, big boy, uh, music media, music, and then um. Let's just say do 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 do. Um, we'll go into uh, three doors down, and then um, uh, let's see, nineteen ninety seven. Do this one here, and that's the that's the path of the song. Oh, you want this? Is not going to quite work because. The path of the song also includes the title of the song, so we I, we can do this, but it's gonna we can make it easier in a minute. So we'll just do um zero one kryptonite. Okay, what is the title of the song? Kryptonite. Okay, that's the title of the song. I forgot colon there. What is the name of the artist? Three doors down. What is the name of the album? Name of the album is um, Three Doors Down. Okay, what is the track number? It's one. Okay, what is the year of publication? 1997. And do you have a comment? No. That's interesting. That's really weird. Why did that should have worked? Let's go back and see what we did wrong. Okay, so what was that? What was that output again? But no files matching. Weird. That shouldn't okay so let's just do ID three dash one um, and then uh, let's CD into that file CD dash run media Dr. M -dub. big boy media music through uh, three doors down nineteen nine oops seven we'll CD there and do LS and then we'll do ID ID three dash one zero one. Right, so that are those already have tags, but it still should work. Why didn't it work? Because let's just all right. So let's go ahead and try it just here. So ID three um, dash T is crip. Donight dash A. Oops, I gotta put parentheses. Cryptonite dash A. Three doors down. Dash L. Three doors down. Dash year nineteen ninety seven. Okay, so obviously the reason why I have this is because dash T is not a valid option. 
That's is that because I did I three? That's because I did I three. I really got to learn not to you know do typos. I wonder if I did this in the same thing. D three. I D three missing file arguments. Okay. Oh, it's because you got to do uh, this. Um, zero one. That worked. Okay. That worked. So that means we have a typo in this somewhere. ID three dash T. ID three dash T. That's exactly what I did. ID three dash T. Parentheses. In dollar sign title. That should really work. I wonder. It has something to do with the path. It has something to do with the path, or I'm missing a quotation mark somewhere. But Vim would tell me if I was missing an ID, a path. So I'm going to save this again. Oops. And we're going to go here. I'm going to do dot slash documents. Not that. That was dumb. You have to do tilde dot slash. Right? No, I don't know. Well, how do I run off? I'm a Linux noob. Mm -hmm. But it sh still should work. It should work from any path because that... Because uh, it doesn't require per quotation marks around this in the real you know thing. So I shouldn't have to put parentheses in this. Alright, so you want to... Let's do this. I want, what I want to do is remove so id id three um, dash two uh, delete crypt zero one. That will remove the tags of the v two of the of tags. Okay, so um, let's cd back to home directory and dot slash this here, and this should work. If everything goes, so we just do this. What is the path of the song? Slash run uh, media doctor m dub big boy media music uh, three doors down 1997 and kryptonite zero one. Okay, that's the path. What is the title of the song? Crypt. Kryptonite. What is the name of the artist? Three doors down. Three oops, doors down. Nineteen. Oops. This is one. Nineteen ninety-seven. No. But we're gonna type one anyways. That still didn't work. No files matching. No files matching. cd slash run yeah that's exactly that's that's the syntax it has to have that slash in front of it why is it not working this doesn't make any sense i'm sure i'm doing something stupid All right, let's go back over here id3 dash t i have to be missing something Dollar sign path. You should store the whole path right here in the path variable. And then it should just echo path. You want it? Fine. We will do this. We'll comment this out. I want to do echo dollar sign path. We we'll just do this. We're just gonna do slash home. We should. Didn't move. 
home, home, home. Doesn't matter. And literally, that's exactly what it should do. Is echo the path, which is what it does. So we know it's storing the variable correctly. The question is, why isn't it then putting it here where it should? ID three. ID three dash dash two. I mean, we can do this title. And see if that will work. I don't. You want to know what? I think there has to be some print, some quotation marks around stuff. I think there has to be quotation marks here. Let's try it again. Flash run media diagram. This is going to be a pain in the butt. We're going to have to figure out a way to shorten this. Um, big boy media music. Uh, three doors down, 1997. Zero one, Kryptonite. Okay, was the name of the song. Kryptonite. Three doors down. Three doors down. One, 1997. Good song. <laughs> okay, I think that worked. <laughs> I think uh, entire problem was lack of. Quotation marks around the path. So if we go to now, if we cd into slash run media doc, we have this one here, and we do um, id three dash two and then zero one. Ha <laughs> ha! It works. Look at that. It works. <laughs> um, the dumbest problem ever. Just shows you that if you don't remember the syntax of every little thing, it just doesn't work. So that is literally the uh, the script that I wanted to write. Uh, there are several things I wanted to do. I want to learn how to do uh, positional arguments. So that's my next task. Um, I said, well, before we had this problem with the path, I said that there was something that I could do to make this better. I don't remember what it was. Um, first, we need to go up here and make sure there's uh, a semicolon here because that was annoying um, but there was something I don't I should have tried to write it down I don't remember what what I said that I could make this easier okay what I'm going to try to do is because because this path because this script is basically just for me. I'm I'm, I'm going to share this, but and I'll probably go through and do some commenting before I put it up on GitHub because I will put this up on GitHub. It'll be my script folder on GitHub. Um, but because it's mostly just for me, I'm going to comment the, this line out here and this line out here. And what I'm going to do is declare a variable which would be path equals dollar sign parentheses pwd okay so path is pwd so that's just basically the working directory and what we want to do down here is path slash title okay that may not work because the t when I type in the title here, I'm not going to be including any extraneous uh, things like the because the, in the file name you, a lot of times you'll have the extraneous information like the tra the track name and 
any other number of things that were down, you know, put in the the file name when you downloaded the, the the music. So that may not work. Let me think about this for a second. Because the print recurring directory is not going to pick up the entire thing. It's not going to pick up the name of the song. I want to get around having to type in that whole gig gigantic path every single time. Hmm. What we could do is declare another variable. Instead of having it title, type in... Um, we're going to call it fn equals... No, so what we do is echo... We'll do this. Echo, what is the name of the file? Okay. And then read dash e dash p fn. And we're going to call this fn. Okay. And this should be, ta I should be able to use tab completion on this. So we go down here and do this change word fn okay that should work we're gonna find out right now okay so what we want to do is ls in this okay so we want to um id3 dash 2 d 0 2 okay We'll re remove the tags from this. So if we go up here and then list those, it should have no version 2 tags, which is good. Okay, so we know now if the script works. Um, of course, now I'm going to have to figure out how to remember how to do a script from... What I think I'm going to do is uh, so move music to just slash home. So if we just do dot slash music, that didn't work. I can never remember how to run, run a, a, you want it? Fine. We're just going to see. All right. I'm going to move music CP, move music to slash local, slash user local. Damn. Music. Users local. Bin. All right. Yeah, you can't see me doing it. I'm on my other monitor. I'm sorry. So what we want to do here is do music. Okay. What is the name of the file? Zero two losers. Ah, tab completion. Good. We don't want a space at the end. Okay, no space at the end. And the title of the song is Loser. What is the name of Three Doors Down? What is the name of Elm Three Doors Down? Track number is two. Year was 1997. I don't have a comment. So now, if this worked, if this worked, we should be able to do ID3-2. Damn. On this, huzzah! <laughs> uh, it's always so much fun when things work. I love it when a plan comes together, even if it was a, a dumb plan. So, that is our script. That ensures we don't have to go through and type in that horrendous long pass. Now, this script will only work from the directory that the song is in. So, if you download this script to use as your own, I don't know why you'd want to, but if you do, uh, just know that this script will only work from the directory the song is in. Because it's that pr print working directory is going to mess up everything if you're not in the directory uh you know because it's just gonna then it's gonna pass the pass the wrong path into this argument here and it's just not gonna work anyways 
Whew. Hopefully I was recording because if I have to go through and do that all again, I'm going to be so pissed. Anyways, <laughs> if you want, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. If you really like more of this nonsense, give us a subscribe and hit that little notification icon bell thing, majigger. Um, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this nonsense. We'll see you next time.